Hi, I'm Alina. I will walk you through this training. Even though the process of conversion is so easy, yet you have to keep this mind that while conversion, you might lose some data. Thus, checking the file once converted is mandatory. To convert a file from any other accounting software like QuickBooks, you need to click File and select Convert a Company from the drop down menu. Alternatively, you can also click the Convert from another accounting program hyperlink. This will open a dialog box that lists the program supported by Sage 50. Select a suitable file. The rest of the procedure is very intuitive. You need to follow the process as prompted to convert. After conversion, you can follow any instructions that may appear on the screen. This is how you convert a company from any other accounting program to Sage 50. Hope you liked the video. For more informational videos and tutorials like this, you can subscribe to our channel. Setting up security and creating users. To create users and set up security for your Sage 50 company file, select Maintain, then Users, and click Set up security from the menu bar. To create the administrator user in the user security window that then appears if needed, click the User List tab. Then click the New User button that appears on the right side of the window. In the Create Administrator dialog box that appears, enter the name for the administrator user account into the Username field. Then enter a password for the account into the Password field. You should record this password and save it in a secure place. You need this password to access your company data. To create the administrator user, click the Save button. After creating the administrator user, you are logged in as that user and can then create the other user accounts. To create the other user accounts, click the New User button again. In the User Rights window that appears, enter the username and password for the new user. Choose the Option button that describes the level of access to grant to them within the company file. For all levels of access other than selected access, Click the Save button at the bottom of the dialog box to save the user account. If you choose the Selected Access Option button, then click the Next button at the bottom of the dialog box to open the Selected Access dialog box. Here you set user security for the different areas of the company file, which appear in a listing at the left side of the dialog box. Click an area of the company file within the listing on the left side, to see the selected area's security options appear in a listing of drop-down menus at the right side of the dialog box. Use the drop-down menus to select the level of user access to each feature or area shown. Once you finish setting user access for the various categories, click the Save button at the bottom of the dialog box to create the user account. Within the User Security window, you can also select a user from the listing shown and then click any of the buttons that appear at the right side of the window to modify user access, copy the user account, delete the selected user, or modify their password. When finished creating user accounts, click the Close button at the bottom of the window to close the user security window. To log into the company file, enter your user information into the field shown and then click the OK button to open and log into the company file.
Enter the details setting up into a company. the address line. Let us field. view the complete process Enter the of setting city, up a Sage 50 state, company. Zip field. Start the Sage 50 Enter the application. The Enter Sage a telephone accounting number. window appears. Enter the fax number. Create a new company Select the by business clicking the type create from the drop down menu. Enter if the you have details another company in the file federal open, employer Sage ID 50 field. will close that company Enter the file details before in the creating state a new employer company ID file. field. Read the information Enter the within the ST introduction screen unemployment and click ID the next details. button to continue. Enter the Enter website. The company name. Enter, Enter the, the details address. into the address click line the button one to field. continue. Enter Select the details the sample into business the address type to line continue. two field. Click the next Enter the city, arrow button to state, continue. Zip field. Select the sales Enter and the service country. company option within Enter the detailed types number. of companies Enter shown the within the number. scrollable list of Select company choices. Select the business type Click from the, the drop-down arrow menu. button to continue. Enter the details Select in the federal the employer method. ID field. Click the next Enter arrow the button to continue. Enter the details in the state employer the ID field. field. Enter Click the, the next ST arrow button unemployment to ID details. Select the 12 Enter monthly the accounting website. periods per year. Enter the email Most address. companies choose this. Click the option button, button to continue. Click the next Select arrow button the sample to business type to continue. Select January Click the and next 2021 from the drop down menus. Select the Click sales the next and service company option within the detailed types Click of companies the finish button shown to within finish the creating list your Sage company, 50 choices. company file. Click the next Click the arrow close button to continue within the setup guide. Select the accounting method. Click, Click the, the next button arrow in the button upper right continue. corner of the Getting Select Started the posting screen method. to the right of the window. Click the next then set arrow the customer button to continue. Defaults. Then select the inventory and monthly payroll accounting for the new company year. as shown Most earlier. Most companies choose this option button. Click the next arrow button to continue. Select January and 2021 from the drop down menus. Click the next arrow button to continue. Click the finish button to finish creating your Sage 50 company file. Click the Close button within the setup guide that appears on screen. Click the X button in the upper right corner of the Getting Started screen to the right of the window. Then set the customer defaults, vendor, inventory and payroll defaults for the new company as shown earlier. General Ledger records all financial information for your company. Every transaction that occurs is eventually posted to the set of accounts that make up General Ledger. This set of accounts is called the Chart of Accounts. We will learn to set the defaults for General Ledger. General Ledger helps to add accounts, delete or inactivate account, Add beginning balance to accounts. Use lists. Use basic general ledger reports. Add general ledger entries. Enter account budgets. Use cash account register. Before we deep dive into the processes, let us take a brief look at the general ledger reports that are commonly used. R. Account variance. It displays the actual amount, budget amount, variance amount, and variance percent for the accounts and periods you select. Account Variance Dual Budgets It shows the actual amount, budget amount, variance amount, and variance percent for two budgets for the accounts and periods you select. Budget It highlights the period and year-to-date budget amounts. Cash Account Register it lists all transactions affecting a selected cash account, along with a running balance. Chart of Accounts It lists all account numbers, descriptions, and account types. General Journal It is a list of all general journal transactions for the selected date range. General Ledger It is the list of transactions in each account for the selected accounting period. General Ledger Trial Balance it shows the current balance in each account, and also shows the history for the selected accounting period. Transaction Detail Report It shows all transactions that match your specified search criteria. Working Trial Balance It is the list that shows the accounts and their debit or credit balances. 
To maintain the chart of accounts and create general journal entries, open the company file completed through the end of the previous section exercise. Select Maintain, select Default Information, and then select General Ledger from the menu bar. Check to ensure the rounding account is set. Click OK in the General Ledger Defaults window to close it. To Accounts list, select the Maintain, then Chart of Accounts from the menu bar. Click the List button in the toolbar at the top of the Maintain Chart of Accounts window to view the accounts for the company file in the Account List window that opens. Click the Close button within the Account List window to close it. Within the Maintain Chart of Accounts window, select the account from the Account ID dropdown. Change the Description field. Click the Save button to save your editing changes. Select the account from the Account ID drop-down. Change the description. Click the Save button. Select the account. Change the description. Click the Save button. Select account. Change the description. Click the Save button. Select account from the Account ID drop-down menu. Change the description. Click the Save button. Select account. Change the description. Click the Save button. Click the Account Beginning Balances button to open the Select Period window. Scroll through the periods shown and then select. Click the OK button to enter ending account balances for the selected period into the Chart of Accounts Beginning Balances window. Enter the amounts for the accounts listed into the available column within each row, and press the Enter key on your keyboard after entering each amount. At this point, assign a trial balance value. Click the OK button in the toolbar at the top of the Chart of Accounts Beginning Balances window to save the account balances. Click the Close button. To open the General Journal Entry, select Tasks, then General Journal Entry from the menu bar. Enter Date. Enter Petty Cash into the Reference field. In the first row under the GL Account column, Type 71000. Under the Description column, enter the description. Enter value under the Debit column within the same row. You will need the file and need to complete the exercises at the end of each of the following sections in a sequence to complete all the exercises within the tutorial. Press the Enter key on your keyboard after entering each amount. At this point, assign a trial balance value. Click the OK button in the toolbar at the top of the Chart of Accounts Beginning Balances window to save the account balances. Click the Close button. To open the General Journal Entry, select Tasks, then General Journal Entry from the menu bar. Enter Date. Enter Petty Cash into the Reference field. In the first row under the GL Account column, type 71000. Under the Description column, enter the description. Enter value under the debit column within the same row. You will need the file and need to complete the exercises at the end of each of the following sections in a sequence to complete all the exercises within the tutorial.
Hi, I'm Adriana. I will walk you through this training. To add an account to the general ledger, you have to click Maintain, then Chart of Accounts. In the Maintain Chart of Accounts window, you can add, rename, and delete accounts. You can use all the buttons at the top to maintain the accounts. To view all the accounts that you have in General Ledger, click List. Notice the side panel. This panel is an advisory information box that tells you about the purpose of each section of this window. To create new accounts, click the New button on the toolbar. Enter the account ID, then the description of the account. You can use any of the number ranges that Sage 50 traditionally uses. You can use up to 15 characters for account ID codes. After adding the description, add the account type from the drop-down. Remember to click the Save button. Save the newly created account. This is how you add a new account to the General Ledger. Hope this video was really helpful. Please subscribe to our channel for more such informative videos. Hi, I'm Adriana. I will walk you through this training. As long there are no transactions in one account, you can delete such an account from the general chart of accounts. To start this, you can click the Maintain, then click the Chart of Accounts. Now select the account that you want to delete, and simple delete the account from the list. To inactivate the accounts that you used in past but are irrelevant now, you can click the account and simple click Inactivate. Now click Save to save your actions. Hope you liked this video. Subscribe to our channel for new hacks and informative videos on Sage50.